I want to go now to special guests joining me. It's Denise Cox. This is Susan's sister. Her nephews died in the fire set by their father, Josh Powell, and it was just this Saturday night that she tucked the little boys into bed. You know, Denise Cox, number one, myself and our staff have been praying for you and your family and Susan and these boys since we heard this horrible news last night. I've got two children, and I can't imagine what happened to the two little boys, and I know you are suffering. Also, so many things unfolding, so many facts unfolding about Susan's disappearance. What can you tell us, Denise? Um, actually, the boys at first, when my parents received custody of them, they didn't talk that much. But over the last few months, they started opening up and talking to my, my parents about what happened that night my parents would relay it back to me uh, when I was with the boys spending time with them they would ask me questions about their mom which they were not allowed to do around their father or their or his father they weren't allowed to talk uh, either even mention my sister's name when they were living with their dad and they were really excited to hear the stories I would tell them about her you know Denise what kind of stories would they want to hear about their mother things she liked to do um, I would tell them about you know Chris we spent Christmas with them this last year and we I would tell them on how uh, my sister and I would Susan and I would sneak into my parents bedroom and unwrap our presents and wrap them back up so we would know what we were getting so we knew what how to be excited for it the next you know on Christmas Day and because the boys would ask me what they were getting for Christmas and I you know being the devious aunt I am I told them how their mom and I found out and maybe not the best thing to tell them but they really enjoyed hearing how excited their mom was about Christmas and how much she loved the holidays. Denise what were they beginning to say about the night your sister went missing? Um, from what I gather from my my parents talking to me is they said that mom went to go look for crystals and she she went into a mine to look for crystals and she never came out and I've heard them they they've been they pointed to a picture of a woman and pointed to her chest and said mommy owie what if anything else did they say about the night Susan went missing that camping trip, that so-called camping trip. Was mommy on the camping trip? Did mommy go on the camping trip that Sunday night at midnight at 14 degrees outside? From the story that's out there, it was that she was in the trunk of their van and daddy took mommy out to go look for crystals and daddy came back but mommy did not. With me, special guest, Susan's sister, Denise Cox. Denise, tell me, how are Susan's parents doing? <laughs> not good. Not good at all. Um, they're not, they're, they've shut themselves off and they're going to stay away from everything. They said they want to be alone for a few days and grieve. Uh, be able to grieve by themselves and alone and they're they're not really coherent right now they're in their they're still in shock Denise I know that this may sound cliche to you I've been the victim of a murder when my fiance was murdered and I thought oh there could never be a greater pain than that until I had children I want to hear your thoughts on the day after what is in your um, mind and in your heart? Well, myself, I have four children, and uh, I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my younger children. They're ages six and eight, and they don't quite understand where their cousins are. They wanted to play with them yesterday, and I, 
uh, one of them said that Susan was in he or the Charlie and Braden were in heaven with their mom and um, Denise, why? my older kids. Why were did really he close. do this? Why? To regain control of what was going on. He's very controlling. What do you mean by that? Um, I had to call her when I wanted to talk to her on the phone when I thought he would be out so we could talk about whatever we wanted to. Otherwise, we had to watch what we said to each other. Why? What would he do? He would hang up the phone on me. He would take the phone away from her and hang the phone up on her, on you? Yeah. How were the boys yeah, responding like to their visitation with him? I know that they were becoming agitated when they would be with him. The boys really, once they started opening up to our family, they started closing down on their dad.